Seeds and on this rock, Captain Pizzazz here. We're just making some lunch. So, let me get some light going here. We have some chopped red onions and chopped garlic in our skillet. We have some chicken and we have some white dry wine. I believe Sauvignon Blanc is white. This one's from Chile. Chile. And we're just making some braised chicken here or chicken. Romano, I, I forget what it is, but anyway, let me throw this video together. These are almost done braising here. Now we're going to add all the rest of the ingredients. Simple, easy, 20 minute thing. Make enough to have like two meals. It's amazing. So, and then we got a pot of water boiling here. That's going to be our bed of pasta. So, there's nothing wrong with carbs, gentlemen. Your body needs them. Just, you know. You don't eat like a whole box of pasta. So go by the recommended serving size. I think it's a quarter cup for most pastas. Anyway, I'm going to finish getting these onions and garlic done. And then we'll add some other ingredients. The recipe says add a cup of wine. So we'll add a little more than a cup because it'll cook off. So... There's one cup, and we'll come and bring another half cup in here because I know it's going to cook off. So there's that. We'll add half a cup. There's that. So we have a cup and a half of wine, some red onions, and some garlic. And then the next part of the recipe says to add the chicken. So, and that smells damn amazing so far and there's not even any spices in here so we're adding the chicken breasts there is our chicken breast there and this is one chicken breast so I just all I did was butterfly it and cut I cut it in half and then butterflied it and that's why we have four pieces so these aren't little tiny chickens it's one breast, so I don't know where they grow these damn chickens, but they're huge. Anyway, guys, I'm going to let this cook. It says let it come to a boil, so I'm going to turn the heat up a little bit. So you bring it to a boil, and then you simmer it down for, I don't know, 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes. So I'm not going to bore you with watching something boil. So, Gentlemen, so I found the spices I'm using. I'm going to use a little bit of pepper. I don't have any fresh thyme. Here's some dried bay leaves. So these are the three spices that are going in there. I don't know if I, let me see if I can set up the camera so it'll stay and you can watch me grind away. There we go, precariously perched. I just refilled the grinder, pepper grinder. So we'll add just a touch of pepper. Couple bay leaves. I like my bay leaves, so we'll put like that many in. And some thyme. Parsley, sage, rosemary, thyme. That sounds like a song. A little parsley. And there we go, gentlemen. Simple, quick, easy. Give it a quick little stir. Our water's boiling, so we can add some spaghetti to this boiling water here in this pan here. I already have that prepared. I don't have the best brand of spaghetti here, but it's all I got, so we're going to use it. I'd like to get the Berea, and no, I'm not sponsored by Berea. Uh, we'll just make this, somebody will eat it. 
And no, I don't break my stocks. I hate when the stocks get broken. I like to slurp them up. And this says, how long does this say? Since this is boiling, we turn it down to a simmer. That's what the recipe says. So we got that down to a simmer. And our spaghetti needs to be 10 or 11 minutes. So we'll set our timer. To 11. There, 11 minutes on that timer. We shall pour a glass of wine for ourselves because Julia Childs taught us when we were a child. And this is breakfast and lunch for me, gentlemen, so. All right, let me turn the simmer up just a touch. It says to cover, so we have the lid here. And there. Yeah. All right, gentlemen, so our timer's going off, so that means our spaghetti is done. So we'll drain that in a moment here. Gave it a quick stir. Let me grab some hot hands or whatever, uh, gloves that I can grab hot things with. Put off the stove. All right, coming in, gentlemen. There we go. There's our spaghetti. Now what I do, I rinse off the starch. Cause we're gonna put some beautiful sauce. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and make some roux for the. Uh, sauce in this. I haven't made roux in a long time. It's basically butter and flour. So we'll see what we get, but that's enough rinse on that. Our chicken's being beautiful over there. Here, I'll give you a look at that. So there's that. I'm going to try and make some roux and take the chicken out and then try and thicken it. So let's see what we get. So I have some flour here. Here's the pan we're gonna use, a little baby pan. It's an egg pan, as you can see by the goofball on it. It's very ill-balanced though, until you get some weight in it. So we'll get some butter. So one pat of butter. I think it's a one-to-one -one mix. All right, gentlemen. So I have about an equal, equal amount of butter and flour. So I guess I, I, it's been a long time since I made roux, so I'm just gonna put it in there and see what we get. And it turns into like this weird pasty stuff. I don't have the heat on super high. I don't know where I can put the camera here. I'm using my phone as the camera this time, guys, so that's why it's just giving me giving me troubles. That might work. I don't know. And in the instructions for roux, it says, add a little more butter, Just a little bit, soak up some of that. Sorry about the crappy camera work, gentlemen. Let me try and prop her up properly. Use this here. There we go, two hands. Awesome. 
And yes, I know I'm not supposed to use metal on a nonstick, gentlemen. This is the first time I've used this pan in a couple years, I think. Let me turn the heat down, way down. And any real chefs out there probably looking at me going, holy shit, dude, you have no clue what you're doing. And that's true. I just read a quick two-minute article about what roux is, and I'm just like, all right, let's do it. Let's try it. So, it's all about the experimentation, gentlemen. It says the longer you cook roux, the more nutty it gets. But the emulsifying thickening properties go away the thicker it gets. So... We pretty much got it mixed together where we need it. And we're trying to make a runny sauce, just like spaghetti sauce. So what I'm going to do is partially plate my spaghetti and chicken for lunch. So let me find a big tongy dongy to pull out some of this spaghetti. Let's get this over here. Okay, so we're putting some spaghetti on the plate. We'll put a little more. There's that. And we'll get another plate for the other chicken because I'm not going to eat the whole thing all at once. So, there's our beautiful chicken. Turn this way down for now, so right there. Bring you guys over here. All right, I think we'll take this piece here to eat today for lunch, and this piece here for lunch. Yeah, so we have two beautiful pieces of chicken on a bed of pasta, and then the other two we'll put here and then add our roux. Okay, so there's our roux bubbling away. Oh yeah, that is beautiful. Let's see if it thickens it. I don't know what it'll do. Uh, well, let me, let me try this here. How's that work? Ah yeah, there we go. We got you right above it. So we're scooping in the roux. I don't know what this will do, if it'll thicken it or not. Might just need to add more. Cooking's all experiments, gentlemen. That's all it is, chemical reactions that taste good. It smells amazing for sure. Okay. Let me turn the heat up a little. I think I need to just sprinkle in flour just to thicken it. So let me find my spoon and we will do that. Like I say, we don't want it thick. We like thick, thick, like gravy for potatoes. We just want it just a little thicker. So, and we don't want it lumpy either. So, we'll sprinkle in some of that. See what we get. I should have used that cool thing where it puts the flour through it and fluffs it or breaks it up. I forget, bakers know what the name of the thing is. A sieve, I, th I think it's a baker's sieve or something to that effect. It is thickening up though. Probably be a few lumps in here. I'm not a professional chef. I just decided, hey, 
there's no food in the house that I can cook, so I'm gonna, cause I was gonna take out some ground beef. Need a little, let's try a little more. Or wait, no, let's, let's let it cook a little bit and see if it thickens up. I believe that's what grandma used to do. She'd let it simmer for a while and then thicken up and I don't know. I will take a little sample of it though in my mouth. Let me get a clean spoon so as not to Pretty tasty. Very gentle taste. I like it. Not too overpowering. And you can add any spices you want into this, gentlemen. I just found a recipe online and said, hey, I have everything in sight for this in the in the fridge, so still a little water. Got her so she's getting there. Yeah, a touch more flour to a thicken her up. You just want a little bit more thickness to her. Oh yeah, now she's getting a little bit thicker. That's what we're looking for. Just something that'll stick to it and not be all super runny. It could have used a little rosemary. I didn't have, I don't think there is any in there that's any good. Trying just to break up a few little clumpies of the flour, cause like I say, I didn't have a baker's sieve to put it through. Ugh. This is probably not the way to do it. All those professional chefs out there are just screaming their heads off probably right now. A few little lumps in here. It's okay. We'll just keep stirring it so it doesn't burn. That's close to the consistency we're looking for. We're just looking for it to not be super runny like water. Water. Lobster. My ex used to say things like that because, you know, she's from Boston. Boston. Yeah, that's a little better. All right, guys, so that's plated. We'll pour this beautiful sauce on the chicken, I think, because I'm, I'm hungry. And give it a minute or two more, let it cook. Let it cook. I'll probably fast forward this part of the video. Let me see what consistency we're at. Oh yeah. We're at a thicker consistency. So if I go like this, let's see. See, it's not quite water, but it's not quite thick gravy like you'd put on mashed potatoes either. And that's that's what I'm looking for. So, I like that consistency. Let me re-aim the, as close as I can. There we go. So that's our plated chicken. We're gonna take our thickened gravy now, or sauce. This would be sauce. There's that. 
put some on our spaghetti. And yes, I'm a heavy saucer. Saucy boy. All right. Oh shit. I forgot to turn that plate off. I was burning our little uh, brew plate. So, I'll go plate this on the table and I'll give you guys a show. All right, gentlemen, there's our lunch. There's our creation. We're gonna eat it. And I'm sure it'll taste amazing. I'll come back to you in a minute and let you know. Well, gentlemen, not too bad at all. A little bland. Could use a little more. It could use fresh spices. I mean, around here, all we have is like the little jars of whatever. So I got to work with what I got to work with. But for a first attempt at it, a little tweaking, I think it'll be great. Anyway, guys, I'm going to eat my lunch slash dinner. That'd be brunch. I guess I'm eating brunch today. And uh, salute to all of you. Stay safe out there and try and eat well, gentlemen. It'll go a long way in your MGTOW journey. And uh, like love.